Hi everyone, um, I'm down at Moria, uh, it's really cold last night, it was uh, minus three, minus four, uh, a lot of the boys are still suffering, a lot of them are so intense. Anyway, I, I, I met James here, and James is, uh, he tell his story, he has a little story to tell, so, okay James, all yours mate. Yeah, as you can see, everywhere is very cold last night. No lights, nothing, no good blankets to cover up the bo our body. We're very cold. We even have heaters that we're supposed to use to like help ourselves out. But no light in the camp. Everywhere was very cold. Even to feed, we can't even feed sometimes. When you check out in the camp, you find out that they hardly give us good food to eat. Sometimes they give us water, just a bottle of water for the whole day. Life is very miserable. When you go to collect jackets or some clothes to cover up yourself, they keep telling you stories. The UN hits here. They don't really care. All I don't really know why they blame politics on on we the refugees. We are really suffering, like serious. We're really suffering. We just want the world to like come to our aid. We really need help because life is very miserable here. You find our people being sick every day. People crying. They don't even know what to do. Now we're really confused. Some times back, they pick some few people to the hotels and a lot of people are being kept in the camp. Are we not human beings? Imagine all the things that is happening. People are really suffering over here. We really, we don't really know what to do here. We really need help. Let the world hear our cry. How did, uh, why did you run, why did you leave home? I left home because my life was really in danger. I, I, I was attacked with, by the terrorists and that's why I left home. And I left home probably for the safety of my family. I don't want them to be harmed because I know me staying with them is going to be a great harm to them and is going to take away the lives of my family. That's why I intended to just leave home and find a safe place to stay because I don't want someone to die because of me. That's why I left home. I know why I left home. If it's left for me, I'll stay in my country. If I want to die, I die. But I know it's because of the love I have for other people. That's why I left home. I found myself here and I'm still suffering here, mm. asking and for help. What about when you came through Turkey? You came across on the boat to Lesbos. Yeah. How was that? It was very difficult and very miserable because we have to suffer a lot when we cross the Turkey border to the Greece border. So I encounter when the coast guards came to rescue us. So our boat got it, it, it blowed up. So the coast guard were trying, they gave out ropes for people to hold. So before all the people get into the boat, it was very bad. People were already drowning in the water. And no one among the people, the helpers could enter the water and help people out of the water. So I have to sacrifice my own self, everything I had, my phones, everything have to fall into the water to make sure I help life. I have some, a lot, like fall, I'll help like six people out of the water. I have to swim, take them out of the water for just to see they are safe. It's not really easy because sometimes the, the, the helpers, people who came to help, they don't really want to help the people. The only thing they do is that once they give you the rope, if you like, you enter, if you like, you fall into the water, they don't care. But I, I just sacrifice myself because I know I don't, I, I'm not really happy to see someone dying. I know what it means because I've passed through that in my, in my country. I've seen a lot of killings, a lot of children being, being slaughtered like goats, a lot of things. I've, I grew up in it and I, I, I managed to make sure that I, I never before me I don't want to see anyone die in pain it's, it's very bad mm. that's why I left my and how long you been here now James I've been here I came here August so I've been here for like getting to five months five months okay. and life is very miserable here that's five months inside Moria yeah five months inside Moria when I first came to Moria it was very difficult. I have to sleep on the ground for four days. No tents, nothing. When I go to the Euro Relief to ask for tents, they keep telling us that they don't have tents. While other people come, they come from other places, they give them tents. Like the Euro Relief, when they see the Arabs, sometimes they give them tents. But sometimes, when I don't know if they are discriminating because we suffered a lot. They, we asked for tents, we asked for tents, they couldn't give us tents. We sleep outside, that's how we keep begging, begging for tents. And what about clothes and things? You, did they, did they everyone give you good clothes or...? No? Since I came to this camp, I've not gotten any clothes. 
from okay. any one of the organization. I have in, not got it anything. Okay. I just manage what I had with me. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's we, only the people. It's only the helpers that uh, that do come. The, the volunteers. NGO, the, vo the volunteers. Yeah. yeah. That do come. Sometimes yeah. they give they give out clothes, shoes to us to wear. Okay. But when we go to the other organization inside the camp, they don't care. They don't give. I don't really know. They discriminate. They looked at people's face before they give out clothes okay. or anything. And it was a really cold one last night. <laughs> yeah, it was really cold. Even water on the ground was frozen. Like, it's, it's, it's frozen. Yeah. It's yeah. frozen to a limit that we don't really know. It was really bad. It, it was really bad for me last night because in I the, couldn't sleep. In the snow the other week, you were this, you tell me about the snow. Oh, the snow was really, really, really bad because it falls on all the tents and the tents were coming down. All the snow, when it falls on the tent, you find out you'll be in the tent and you see the tent will fall on you. Yeah. It was very, very bad. Every tent collapsed. Very, very bad and very cold. No heater, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Okay, James. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we'll help you anyway. <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> okay. okay. We bought you a nice coat today, but we'll get you other clothes and stuff. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's not a problem. We'll... Uh, so we came down today, we came down yesterday as well because we have uh, things to do in, in, uh, in Mitalini. So we bought a load of a van load. Uh, I got Father Christophilus's van at the moment. Um, so we bought a van load of clothes yesterday and we bought another load again today to help the guys we can help. So <coughs> anyway. Okay, thank you very much, James. All the best, mate. Okay, thank you. Bye, everyone.